guys, I just finished up my treatment and I am charging up my phone and finishing my coffee and this mug that my cats would probably agree with, even though I'm not an introvert, but, <laughs> um, and random side note, I left my hair in the braid all night and it made it a little bit wavy, which I think is really cool. Um, I don't, my hair, it will like be gone by the end of the day because my hair does not stay wavy, but I like it. <laughs> um, so... <clears throat> Today I want to give you guys the fact for CF Awareness Day 6, which is crazy that it's already the 6th of May, like, ugh, this month is flying by, y'all, at least for Florida in a week and a half, um, but, yeah, so when people talk about CF, they normally talk about the lung impact of CF, and it's true that the lung impact is a very major component, um, the lung impact is what causes early mortality rates, frequent hospitalizations, decline in lung function, you know. So the the lung impact of CF is a very serious, probably the most serious side effect of CF. But because CF is caused by our chloride and salt channels, like our salt and water channels being messed up, the mutation of the CFGR gene, <clears throat> the lung impact is not the only part of CF. Like... It is a multi-organ disease. So, um, starting with like our sinuses. Now, not every CFR will have all these problems. I can't speak for the CF population as a whole and say no CFR out there in the world has all, none of like all these problems. But I would say it's probably pretty rare. But these are the things that CF can cause. Um, <clears throat> so with the sinuses, we can get the same infected mucus from our lungs, and it can be in our sinuses, and it can cause a uh, sinus infection, sinus pressure, you know. Um, I have had, growing up, I had so many problems with nasal polyps. Um, I had countless surgeries to remove them. I can't even count how many. Thankfully, knock on wood, <laughs> I have not had any nasal polyps since 2011, so <clears throat> I've been pretty, um, you know, lucky in that regard, but I had a lot of problem with it um, growing up, and a lot of that was just because of the impacted, you know, all this infection and impacted sinus stuff, which, like I said, thankfully cleared it for me, but it can, CF can cause that. CF can cause um, malabsorption because it blocks our pancreas, um, <clears throat> we can't get the release of the digestive enzymes that we need to digest our food, which is why we take the artificial enzymes, but, you know, it's not as good as nature's product, so, um, it can cause, and along with that, it can cause, um, CFRD, which is cystic fibrosis related diabetes, which thankfully I do not have, but we do get tested for it yearly. Um, with a glucose tolerance test. I just got tested last month and I was clear. Um, but it can cause diabetes. It can cause, there can be liver involvement, which I have very mild amount of, like not enough that it impacts my life in any way, shape, or form, but I do have it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> just because of all the medicines and antibiotics that our liver has to process on a daily to, you know, yearly basis with the antibiotics. And um, it can impact the liver, so I take a medicine to combat that, but, you know, there's all these other medicines, you know, just targeting your liver. Um, it can have spleen involvement, it can, um, it can have bone involvement because your, because we have trouble specifically digesting fat, so we have trouble digesting the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Um, it can cause <clears throat> bone involvement with the vitamin D because, and I am chronically deficient in vitamin D. Like a normal person's vitamin D, I think, is like 20 to 30 or something around there. But my vitamin D is 12. I take 10,000 units of vitamin D every single day. But because of me being deficient in D with my bones, I am turning 20 this year, and I already have the beginning stages of osteoporosis in one of my hips. So, <clears throat> CF is, while the lung aspect of CF is the major part of the disease, um, I like to categorize 
the way I would categorize CF is that it is a multi-organ chaotic storm, basically. <coughs> <coughs> so I hope you guys <coughs> found today's fact interesting, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I just came outside, and I'm going to take Panda for, I'm going to feed Princess, <laughs> and then I'm going to take Panda for a nice long walk slash run. I am pretty nervous about his uh, neuter tomorrow. Like, I know it's not a big deal, and it's a very simple surgery, but the last time I had to leave him at the vet was three years ago when he had his heartworm treatment. And compared to that, this is easy, but it's not easier on me. I'm like, well, he's never, you know, he's never had surgery before. Um, what, Yaddy? So, um, so the thought of him going under the knife is a little, uh, a little hard on me. It'll be easier on him than me, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to take him for a nice walk slash run so that uh, I won't be able to walk him for the next couple days while he heals up. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And just try to keep myself busy so I don't start um, thinking too much about tomorrow. <laughs> it's a hot one, but we're going to enjoy your walk anyway. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> he won't be able to walk for a little while. He's got a little cut on his muzzle. I don't know what he did. <clears throat> What'd you do, buddy? But we're enjoying a walk in the heat. <laughs> 80 degree weather. He's a good boy. So I am heading down to the barn and it literally looks like I can, it can pour on my head any second. They even said we were supposed to have rain. Oh well, <laughs> I was going anyway, um, because over where the barn is, it's clear, uh, clear skies. So all the dark clouds are either above my house or back there. So I guess depending on which direction these clouds are supposed to go um, is whether I'm going to regret doing this or not. <laughs> but um, and it actually comes to an advantage at somewhat because the clouds kind of blocked out the sun. We were supposed to be almost 90. It was really hot earlier when I was walking Panda, um, but it's not that bad now. It's uh, cooled off quite a bit, so hopefully I don't get my headboard on and uh, enjoy some time down here at the barn. There's this really eerie feel in the air with these <laughs> storms behind me. I don't think I'm going to stay long, but at least long enough to say hi. Hi, boys. Uh, you can even see it's like really dark out here. Much darker than normal for this time of night, but at least go see Blondie. <coughs> you alone came to greet me at the gate, eh? Hmm? You alone come to greet me at the gate? Oh, good girl. You're a pretty good girl. Yeah. The others are kind of over there. But you came to say hi. Yeah. You did. You came to say hi. I'll be right back. Yeah, we won't do any work today. Not with the way this guy looks. Not with the way this guy looks. Not today. Not today. I think I'm going to head home. Uh, I've been out here for maybe 15 minutes, but the sky is getting progressively darker. And there was a lightning strike uh, 14 miles from where I am at. I just can't even, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's a whole lot darker than it appears in the camera. But, um, yeah. I'm not gonna push my luck, hey boys. So, so we'll come out here tomorrow morning. I'm gonna come probably after we drop Panda off. Um, hang on. Um, probably gonna come after we drop Panda off. Um, that's a good distraction. Um, so don't worry about him, but, I mean, I'm going to worry about him, but a good distraction. Hi, Diamond! Um, need to come out here with some tweezers tomorrow, too. I've seen some ticks on them. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, goodness. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm not going to push my luck. I'm going to head home with that guy. And, um, oh, goodness, Fancy. Um, girls. 
and I'll come out here tomorrow morning um, while Panda's in surgery. So, yeah, but at least I got to get down here, got to see them, got to see they're all good, okay. Um, even though I saw them yesterday, you know, I still like to see them. So, yeah, no, I'll probably brush them tomorrow, but there's just, there's no point. If it's going to rain, they're just going to get all muddy anyway. Don't run me over. So, and she would not. So, yeah. I'm walking home, and no sooner had I ended that last clip than it started drizzling. It's drizzling now. So, perfect timing. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I don't have far to walk. Hopefully, get back before it starts pouring. But, um, I didn't even know it was supposed to rain today. I didn't think it was, but apparently it's going to rain. So, <laughs> um, when I get back, probably get my treatment out of the way and uh, eat. And then I got to get, oh, I just heard thunder too. And then I got to give a panda bath so he doesn't stink for tomorrow. So that's the plan. And uh, yeah, but it's going to be a stormy evening apparently. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say good night. I was going to get panda bath right now, but there's still some thunder going through. And I don't like taking a bath or being in the bathtub. And I have to get in the bathtub with him um, when, they, when it's thundering and lightning. So... I'm going to get my treatment done and out of the way so I can get that taken care of to let this thunder and storms finish going through. And then I'm going to give him a bath. Um, I'm pretty nervous about tomorrow. Like, I know it's like the easiest surgery on the face of a planet that a dog can go through. And it's ridiculous because I've had Ninja Spade, Pepper Spade, um, Princess Spade. And a neuter's a whole lot easier than being spayed. And Daisy's also getting spayed tomorrow. Um, but at the same time, it's just like... Mm, it's my baby, and I don't want him to be in pain and, you know, be away from him. So, tomorrow's going to be a very hard day emotionally. Um, but hopefully by this time tomorrow, I will have him back in my arms after the surgery. And um, it'll all be good. So... I'd appreciate it if you guys could say a little prayer um, or send good thoughts or whatever for Panda for his surgery tomorrow and um, for me not to freak out. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.